let's look at the chart. Because everyone knows reality isn't happening unless you know what it is. Right? I mean, we can all agree on that, right? That could be a new icon for us, a new God, a new belief. So, life is symbolic. We're the ones who find the meaning. There's collective meaning and there's individual meaning, and sometimes the individual meaning becomes collective meaning, and there's a, a gene swarm of spirit happening, growing, dying, living, oscillating in and out of relevance, meaning, of awareness, of being. And we're like that ourselves, always. We're always halfway between the light and the dark. And the imbalances come when we align ourselves to old fading statics which are no longer progressing with natural unfoldment. And so we deny the light of the dark or we are polarized to the light of the dark and we become what that is in relation to the mythologies of the old. And it throws us back unto ourselves and then we live the internal mythology into existence and we either carry that forward or we release it by transforming it. which becomes what our awareness is growing into, which meets with the world by seeing different stories, different narrations, hearing different melodies, following different rhythms. So living mind, finding the language for living mind, well, you can find it in systems that are dynamic such as this. This is Western tropical astrology here. I'm looking at a live chart for where I'm at. And if you look, the 10th house is that Taurus to Gemini transition right now. So 6 to 8 a.m., 8 to 10 a.m. is the energetic frequency if you want to bust it into a 24-hour day. You break it into the 12, and then it is the MC. It's the direction in life. It's where I'm focused right now, which is speaking and doing this stuff because I really don't like computer stuff. In a way, I'm still connected to community in society through a system like this that I can share potential meaning to others. But I'm not dependent on society any more than I need to be. And I can still pay my dues, because I will, and I can still benefit from the benefits of uh, consensus narrations, such as infrastructure, convenience, and uh, community, essentially. So we see Uranus at 24 degrees. It's in a new phase conjunction with the MC. So that's how you look at it statically, but we know because time is flowing that it's actually um, a balsamic phase with the MC because Uranus is going clockwise on the dial here. We've inverted the, um, the directions 
I don't know why. <laughs> it's just the way it is, but you don't have to denigrate an entire system because of some things you don't understand what why. In time, if you need to um, figure it out, you will. That's how I approach knowledge. No one will ever know everything. And I'm not interested in people who have memorized all this shit. I want someone that knows how to think and apply what they know. That's way more important. Which is why I speak on this. Because everything I'm speaking on is what I've learned in the process. And the fundamentals aren't in the statics, it's in the dynamics. You understand the statics better when you start to identify the dynamics. Then the language doesn't trip you up. Then the programming and entrainments of um, dogma won't hold you. So I'm speaking Uranian energies right now, changing values. Embodied life is life. That's as spiritual as you can get. Your physicality is an instrument and it is part of um, every question and every answer. You're finding a connection from the mental through the physical to give rise to these feelings, which is spiritual. The feelings, they find a language in the world, we identify it to an elemental expression, the um, emotions. We bring those emotions to the world, we create system out of it, we create meaning, hierarchy, empire, philosophy, religion, school, everything. And these emotions are what we burn in life. And sometimes they're so heavy they pull us down and we drown in what they are. And it's a strange thing. So your being, your spirit, sometimes you drown, sometimes you burn, sometimes you just flow. You know, and the more you live in life, usually the less you hold. And as time changes, we hit these uh, bottleneck energies almost, maybe changing seasons, maybe where the gears of reality connect and click. We feel the pressure and we're pulled into the death of our absolutions and we either hold on tight and we sink to the bottom of the river with the slow fading static as it sinks further into the past. Well, we realize we have to release and float into an authentic expression of who we are, even though nothing else is honoring it. And that is exile, that is uh, insanity, that is death. But that's what these times are. It's like popping popcorn, you know, not every kernel pops at the same time, and some don't, they just burn. And a lot of that is motion. If you're not stirring it, if you're not moving, you're burning, you're sinking, you're drowning. And a lot of us have to do that for a long time to know, to get tired of it, essentially. When there's no other direction but up, it, it makes things easier. You know, you can put more heart into it. You can feel the purity of what it is. And then complexity is created as you move along. But when you've 
sunk into the self so much, the complexity is not so much found out there any longer because you aren't adorning the darkness with the light of the 10,000 things. You're not becoming icon of other. You are being born. So the moon is coming out of a conjunction with Vesta here. We can say <laughs> Vesta is in balsamic phase conjunction right now with the moon. And uh, this is conjunct the north nodes of Saturn, Pluto. Moon coming out of that. Now Moon will be heading into a T-square with Mars and Pluto here today in a few hours. That's very powerful. We've also got Saturn squaring the Sun. Exact. Disillusionment of self. We've been dissolving ourselves through what we aren't and what we can no longer identify with because either it's a physical issue or it's a moral, spiritual issue. We may see where our gods, our icons were false all along, but it wasn't necessarily the language that matters, but it's the spirit, the purity of the spirit beyond the words and beyond the symbols. And now it's up to you to evolve, change, grow the myth from external icon to what it could be through an individuated process where you bring your unity into awareness by living life as pure as you can. So the test, the stakes will get higher out there um, so that more people can become aware do not let the mistakes of the past, even the past few years, don't let anything hold you back. Ignorance is key to learning. And we don't learn mental shit. It's spiritual. It's felt. And if you had the language for it, you wouldn't be here because you wouldn't need it. All the truth can... Hmm. Truth is a process. It's not a static. All gods will die because they will be named. It doesn't, like, it's not, it's under that. It's most important. It's what's the spirit underlying everything. And you can strip away your false convictions to find the only static is that everything's dynamic. And so that's what you are. That's who you are. <clears throat> so Mercury coming into balsamic phase with the sun, you may have the awareness, the answer. You may understand. And it's like an epiphany. You get this uh, hit. And then... The truth of that, the gnosis doesn't, isn't born, it can't uh, grow until it is buried under the truth of life over the course of your growing awareness. So you'll be challenged with all these denials and all these um, what's the word? betrayals and your feelings and your um, the convictions of the old self of the past will rise up and they will fall and burn. They will need to be cut down to form the soil for the merging self. And this is the power of goals and dreams and all these things because if you can hold that, you can traverse any terrain. There's a good saying, I can't remember the exact words, it just came to mind. But 
but it's something like the pure will can answer any how. It wills. But it, it's rarely a pure will because it's entrained. So feeling into your passion, the purity of who you are as a dynamic, as a learning person, knowing what you've been through, understanding that uh, you won't apply the same methods as you did before because you have a sense of what is more in alignment with yourself when you honor your value. And sometimes you have to find that language and truly the only way to find the language is to give it new nutrition, new nourishment, experience, to embody new ways of being in life. It's like treading water, you know, you're adrift in an ocean. There's no footing because everything changes and it takes you from the purity of uh, who you could be when you put your attention into external icon. But if you stay moving in your own flow, in your own rhythm, you sustain. And in this, you find the flows, you identify the flows, and you go with the flows. Right, so after realizations, Neptune will square, Venus, the Sun, Mercury, confusion will reemerge the feeling. The epiphany, the feeling you got from the moment is being brought to life deep underneath all the denial, all the roadblocks, all the terrain that you have to traverse, everything which is against this uh, realization of your purity. All the responsibilities, all the expectations, all the entrainment of the loops of the past, the ghosts of the past, old persona. When you're climbing out, the gravity of what held you is still hanging on, so there's a struggle here with what you know to be true. And you can't know it in the mind, it's known in the feeling. But when the feeling is split, it's hard to know if the feeling is true, so it's got to be something centered. So one way to do that is to start now because we have that T-square with Mars, Moon, Pluto in effect today. Your lack, your self-denial, your sense of value is an appraisal of past judgments. It was coursework for you to realize the power of your own individual nature through what you do, how you embody.
Now the opening degrees are Venusian energies. Venus is the ruler of Horus. And Venus is currently in Gemini, heading into Cancer. Will the opposing Pluto when she gets back into Leo here? It's a realization, balance, and calibration. So do not uh, compromise your potential for the convictions of old stories. Try and live in the moment by doing what is good for you and what actually feels good in that way. You may not know how to value yourself, love yourself, um, honor yourself, but you can honor the things that make you feel good that are actually good for you. New language, new experiences, learning new things, enriching a sense of self is good. That'll help you uh, anchor into a sense of self. So when the denials rise up, you still know there's value in a direction. And you may not feel the value of the self, but in the process of going towards the direction, you cultivate that, you release what you can no longer carry, and you become more of who you are or who you could be in the process. All right, so that was just a little example of astrology in the moment. Focus on you. The dynamic language is there. Your perception of it changes as you uh, perceive your shadows and light and drop icon and disconnect what isn't necessarily beneficial for you anymore. All right. Well, thanks for watching, listening, and being.